goodie. What's goody? Hey guys. Happy early Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So today we are Chick-fil-A. And today we are trying the chocolate peppermint shake. It's peppermint chip, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, they ruined my order. They gave me a strawberry one, um, which is fine. Whatever. This is, this is so good. Mm -hmm. When I tell you. This has chocolate pieces all over it. And, and candy pepper, cane, right? Candy cane, mm -hmm. peppermint pieces. Mm -hmm. This is a really, really good shake. It, this is amazing. You need to go get this immediately. You guys, y'all ever do this, right? I do this everywhere. Wow. Every time I go through the drive-thru or I'm sitting next to somebody at a restaurant. Like oh, for my yeah. brother's birthday, we went to a restaurant, right? To Red Lobster. And next to us, we were there by ourselves in our area, okay? This happens to us all the time. We're in the area by ourselves. All of a sudden, people start coming in. So there was this older couple sitting right next to us that came like two minutes after us. And then I'm like listening to what they're ordering. Yeah, I'm talking to her. She's like, Shh, hold on. Let me hear what the person, they, they, they're listening. Hold on, hold on. So they, they got flounder, they got broccoli, oh my they gosh. got She's rice, and I'm like, Marlene, Marlene, wait a minute. Even when we were through Chick Fil A, yeah. his name was John, cause I was looking. He oh got four God. chicken me, uh, four chicken nugget meals for kids. Then he got a shake. You were listening too, so don't play yourself. Yeah, cause you a fat ass. You yeah. made me do it. <laughs> oh my God. I do God. that all the time. I'm like, Marlene, wait a minute. <laughs> McDonald's, they're ordering a Big Mac. Wait a minute. Shh. Let me hear this. Hold on. Y'all ever do that? Because I do that no, all the time. No, I think you're the only one that does that. You're so weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so first of all. We did this video before, <coughs> but. Yeah, we were going to do a video on New Year's resolutions because we're starting ours today. Um, we never do New Year's resolution. We're just going to try to be more selfish with our time. Uh, more selfish. We're with... blocking a lot of people. This one went on a blocking spree yeah. yesterday and blocked a whole bunch of people. And, and not only that, like, I feel like, I don't know about y'all, you guys. I think because the way that I was raised, the things that I've been through in my life, that for so long, I could actually admit this, because so many people had pity for me, I felt pity for myself. And because I held pity for myself for such a long time, I felt like I've have to have, I've have to ha if that makes any sense. All these years, I felt like I had to have pity for other people. So meanwhile, I would see signs of people doing things to me and I would make excuses for them because I felt pity for me. And I'm like, man, I've been through so much in my life. Why did this happen to me? You know, um, when somebody gave me an excuse because of what they were going through, I felt like it was okay. I didn't hold them accountable for anything because I felt like they were going through something. I'm not doing that no more. And now that we've matured and we see how life works. It's draining. It's, it's draining and not only that, you get to choose if you stay in that dysfunction or you grow up and you start internalizing what it is that's bothering you and you become a better person. Mm -hmm. You don't sit there and you dwell on that. That's the problem with people. You Listen know, and we're, we're, Go ahead. Uh-huh. We're too ahead of the game, and that's what it is. People like to stay in one spot for the rest of their life. We're not doing that. The um, For example, let's just say this. Um, we've been making excuses for somebody for a very long time. Very long time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, the last time, this was the last straw for me. I'm moving in silence now. I don't have to say anything. You will see it. When I'm no longer there, when I'm never supporting your business again, when I'm not doing for you, or when I'm not there for you, that's it. The other day, we went to go and we went to go get service, right? Now, I'm not putting nobody's name out there. I'm not doing none of that because that's not me. We went to get service. Mind you, we've been going to this person for decades, okay? This is not the first time that this person has done stuff to us. But then I go feeling bad for someone. Well, maybe, you know what? She's human. He's human. He makes a mistake. They're overbooked. They work too much. Or, you know, maybe they just forgot because, you know, that happens. I, I forget things all the time, right? Those are the excuses that I make. This the is other the second day time this happens to us with this person, though. Yeah. The other day, we drive three hours away. Mind you, we're always doing this. We always, if we get good service, you know... We go and drive. It doesn't matter, right? So for us to go get three um, our service, we're spending over a hundred dollars in gas, right? Because gas is expensive. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. We don't have a problem with that. We get to the location, mind you, you guys. We're downstairs. The person calls us and be like, "Hey, um, 
where are you guys? Can you come back later? Uh, maybe an hour or two later because, you know, I overbooked you guys. And, you know, there's a girl around here that lives by me that, you know, I have to do such and such service first. And then can y'all come back later? And, of course, our idiotic self, we should have fought back and been like, oh, you know what? No, let's get our cancellation money back. No, they don't, want, they don't ever want to do that. So we had to accommodate her because she didn't want to accommodate us because we come three hours away. I said, you know what, Marlene? This is the last time. The last time I'm ever coming here again. Ever. Again. There you go. Feeling bad for people. No, no. I'm not going to her. You know why I'm not going to her? That's not even what happened. I asked her a question. And so I wasn't paying attention, but my my right hand ran right here. Everything I don't peep, she peeps. All right, but I told her last time, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not playing this Darlene's game. been telling me that we're not going there for a long time, and I keep telling her. Because like, every time, I always accommodate her. I never listen to my feelings and my gut, and she thinks no, it's funny. No, I be wanting to punch her out. Seriously. Because of how I should have told her to pay no. my money for, for making me go over Yo, there. Yo, how many times I spoil you, you and buy you stuff and do everything you Bro, want? Bro, because I don't listen to her. I, I Instead of me avoiding this type of situation, you know what that is, you guys? I take the day off. I wake up super early. I mean, Yo, she thinks that I didn't go for her to the trip. Where was I? I was there with you. Shame, Marlene, because it's because, it's because of her no, all the so, time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, what happened? <laughs> so I asked the, the, the person a question. And they gave me like a stank face. Oh uh, yeah, so she gonna she don't want to go with her because of the stank face, but doesn't. But uh, mama, I'm paying you over two hundred and something dollars for service. But okay, the, 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 if I'm just okay. asking you a simple question, why are you giving me an attitude? That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. She's getting. She's like, I'm not going to her because of the stank face instead of not accommodating us for driving no, three was, hours there away. There was more. There was more. More that took place. Mm -hmm. Me personally, if it's more than five incidents happening in that one day. And I feel like I came out of a farm. I'm getting service and I felt like I was coming out of a farm. How is that possible? I was tired. Mm. I was tired. My mm. bones, my body, my mm. soul, my heart. I was fucking exhausted when I left. Mm. That's not normal. So I'm not going there because of that anymore. No. And I... that's just that. I'm just saying, you know. You gotta, you gotta I dealt be... with it for decades. Is it, you know, I'm a nice person. You know, if I like your service, I will give you the, the time of day and I will continue until I cannot do it anymore. Mm. Ya yo no puedo más. My money is too valuable. I'm not going to put myself in situations when you're not. Listen, if you want to take the hood rat bitch around the corner and, and let her give you the $150 when I'm going to go and give you 300 plus plus tip because the girls are not giving you tip. Like you say, I give you tip. You don't want me to give you tip no more? I'm not going to your house no more. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to stop doing these house calls because a lot of the time, I support people that are like me. You know, minorities. I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? I go to the Asian spots. I go to the African spots. I go to the Dominican spots. I go anywhere. As long as the service is good. But the minute that you start acting shady, that just means you don't want my money. Porque una even... persona que quiere dinero and knows how to manage their money well and knows how to do business well is going to cater to the customer, to the clientele. Um, you know, like, that's what happens when you feel pity for people, feel bad for people. That's what happens. That, that we're not going to pass it. I've learned to, you know, just focus more on me. Um, I'm not waiting till next year because I never wait till next year to do anything anyways. Um, I deleted um, a lot of people off my phone, mm -hmm. uh, people that I no longer want in my life, people that I don't talk to like that, people that I feel like, you know, they don't serve me no purpose. Like, I don't want to hear the excuses. I don't want to hear you. The other day, um, someone did something really bad to me a while ago, and they had the audacity the other day to apologize. After two years of what they did to me, they wanted to come back and apologize. And I'm like, I don't even remember the situation. And they didn't even call. Because an apology, you should be, you should be, I don't care, woman and man enough to be like, you know what? If I'm gonna apologize, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apologize the right way. Another care. thing that I've noticed too, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> this newer generation, there's something that I've noticed here. One of the things that I've noticed, a lot of the people that I used to rock with back in the days, 24 seven on their cell phone. 24 7 no se pueden quitar de teléfono they're pooping on the phone brushing their teeth on their phone talking to me having sex on the phone 
The minute they text me, right? Because I don't text these people because I know the type of people they are, right? They text me. They won't text me back till 24 hours later. What's going on with that? You're not, you're not, you're always on your phone. You're not that busy. So why are you, oh, I, I, I was doing this, so I was doing that. So you know what I do now? I won't respond till 2025. How about that? Because they be the same people that be wanting the latest and greatest iPhone and Android. Yo, you don't get the, 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 the iPhone 14? Oh, no. Forget about it. They tight. But why you want a phone if you never text the people back? Um, and another thing that I want to say, too. A lot of people, the newer generation, they like to interact over the phone and text and stuff like that. How many people you talk to for years and decades and you um, send them voice memos, right? And they never send your voice memo back. I'm not doing that no more. Because I've they, noticed a lot they, of people do that. Or they be like, they be the same ones telling you, oh, let's link up, let's hang out over years that you yeah, yeah, been talking. And then act like they got amnesia. I don't want to be around people like that. I don't want to have a, uh, a phone relationship with you on the phone. Another thing, if you did me dirty, mm -mm. I don't want to hear your apology. I don't have no ill will against you. I don't have no animosity. Um, I will say hi to you if I have to because I'm in a public setting and I don't want to be looking crazy out here. <laughs> but don't believe we're going to sit in the same table and talk and bygones be bygones. I don't want nothing to do with you. Enough with the excuses. I could because this person went through this. I could because this person went through this. That, you know, I should feel bad for them. We all go through stuff in our lives, okay? I'm going through stuff right now. Uh... Work stuff and other stuff. I'm not going to come here and take it out on ya. I'm not going to go to work and take it out on my uh, my coworkers or my customers. Why? Why should that be an excuse for your behavior? You know what I'm saying? Just because you're going through something and I go and get service from you. Or I go to the dollar store. I go to the grocery store. Because you're going through problems with your, with your significant other. That, that has to be, you know, my fault. Oh, and then the next day you want to come and apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going through personal problems problems with my husband I don't care what you're going through I don't care you know what I'm saying like you know we have to hold ourselves accountable I don't know what it is but now that I'm recording I'm getting messages text messages phone calls all types of shit left and right una cosa que a mi nadie me jode nadie me jode <laughs> listen listen let me tell y'all something um we're just trying to remove all negativity i'm about to go home and smoke <laughs> I wanna, I wanna yo go voy a tener un fiesta ahora. Yo voy a hacer una ensalada de, de codito ahora, nena. Ay, el pernil, el pernil está en la fridge. Yo, yeah. eso está sazonadito, man. Man, yo voy a hacer un pernil mañana por la mañana. A las 5 de la mañana va a estar eso la, en el horno, papi. Ok. Um, oh, we're just, um, I just want to thank you guys for always supporting us, for always being there for us. I don't want to make this video a, a grateful video or none of that. Y'all already know where we stand with y'all. Um, but I we just are wanna, grateful for y'all, you know, like. I just want to go home and smoke. Every night, you guys, every night now, we've been watching Harry Potter. We watch Harry Potter number one. Now we watched number two last night. Now we're going to watch number three last night. Either, either today. today, we're going to watch number three or Rebelde. Because yeah. we're in the middle of watching Rebelde and, um. You know, we usually party from like 2 to 10. <laughs> and then, um, I'm dead ass. Yeah. And I'm going to go buy beer now and everything. Yo, life is short. Life is short. Drink it the fuck up. If you don't drink, don't drink. I'm drink happy water. Too. I'm happy too because I woke up. My stomach is super, super flat. I'm telling you. I be drinking my teas every day. I be adding little concoctions. When I tell you my pants are starting to fit me smaller. Because hey, I'm anybody, trying to get to a size 10. And let me tell y'all something. Like, I'm trying to... I think those teas are working for her. I don't drink the teas because my stomach is flat. She says that her stomach is not flat. I don't see what the problem with her yeah. is. But she loves her teas and they do work. Yeah. But she wants to lose weight. But yeah. I think she's fine. But I want to lose at least... I want to get to a size 10. I'm a size 12 right now. Um, and I want to get myself to a size 10. I used to be a size 10 the first time I did my weight loss and stuff like that. Um, but before, I used to work out seven days a week. Now I only work five days a week. And we haven't worked out yeah. in a month. Yeah. So we're going to start now again in December. Mm -hmm. And put yourself first, too. Like, don't wait. Oh, New Year's. I'm going to wait for New Year's and this and this and that. And by February 14, you're, like, yeah. worrying about, oh, mm -hmm. I don't have a boyfriend yeah. and this and this and that. Everybody does the everything, same. Everything comes in seasons. Yep. Everything comes in seasons. Listen, everybody. Okay, now, you know, y'all think that because we're, 
you know, it's Thanksgiving, like we're gonna pick out and stuff like that. We're not doing that. We had these shakes, but right now when I get home, I'm about to do another concoction, right? To cut this shit in half, because I'm not playing. I'm not, today we're not eating trash. Yesterday we haven't eaten trash for a very long time. We've been eating healthy at home, okay? And tomorrow, we're not gonna eat like, you know, big elaborate meal. We're gonna make a penne and white rice and a little pasta salad. We're cutting That's the it. salad in half because we used to make a whole big thing. We're cutting it in half because personally, I don't want to eat bad. I don't care about eating bad anymore. Nah, eso se cocina pa. Yo, it's only three we, of us. Yeah, we used to cook back in the days. Cuando yo estaba como una nevera, como un tanque, mm -hmm. we used to make lasagna. We used to make rice. I used to make pollo, potato pernil, salad. potato salad, empanadas. Dessert, the two liter soda, that was a must. That was before anything came home. The two liter soda was the first thing. I mm. don't eat if there's no two liter soda. Why cook so much? And then I don't like leftovers mm. like that either. Mm. For me, leftovers? I don't know. I think that because mm. I'm older too and I see what the meaning of Thanksgiving is. It's just people to brag on social media with people that they don't they don't get along you with. You know what I love and, about and, um Thanksgiving though? You could really tell who knows how to fucking cook by them pictures that people yeah, put. No, no. Yeah, no. Let me tell y'all something. I don't like to eat in people's houses. I don't uh, um a, a subscriber shout out to you on Instagram. You hit me up the other day. She's like, "This is why I don't eat in people's houses. I have put something or something like that." Mm -hmm. And she was like, "Especially in potlucks." At work, shout out to you, Mira. Yo no como potluck food de nadie, de nadie. Wow, de yo, nadie. There was this girl one day that went. Yo, I don't, I don't. Trust I think people. when I was when I was younger, I did that. Had food from a potluck, and God, thank God, I'm still here. I Listen, me. let me tell you. I went to when I used to work. I went. I was working at this place, right? It was like this dance place for kids or whatever, and they were doing a potluck, right? So, it was like a different crowd. It was. I was the only. No, me. This other Spanish girl. But the Spanish girl, oh my God, she was um she was in charge of doing the mac and cheese, and she did the mac and cheese. That shit looked mad pale, the noodles, okay. And then she took like the Kraft Singles cheese, and she put them layered on top oh like that. Oh my God, that should be a crime. Just got the blue box. And this is what I'm saying. I don't. This is why I don't like. I don't like judging people for their food and stuff like that. But you know, I know. <laughs> No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do Yo, it. I don't even like I cookies. That... Jonah, I don't even like cookie for nobody. That's Yo. a big responsibility for me. Can wear hair nets. Can wear. Jo, Jo, I, I okay. that, for that potluck, I just got in charge of the soda and the chips. But now, when I worked in the dental office, some I don't know how somebody found out that I made empanadas. So. The 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 day of the potluck, they were like, "Yo, so Marlene, so you're gonna make empanadas?" And I'm like, because I don't like cooking for people. I don't like cooking for people because when you cook for people, that's a, a, a that's like a gateway for them to judge you and to be like, yo, this nah, is nah, good nah, or nah, not. Nah, and I just don't like cooking for people. I like cooking for myself. So you made me, you helped me make the empanadas. I don't Those like are the that. first you things that wear, left, though. You got to wear them. a hair net because he wear gloves, kid. especially because I got a dog and my dog shuts a lot. You know, okay, you got to wear one of those little aprons. I don't have, I don't have time for that. I, I did a couple potlucks here and there. I eat my own uh, stuff. Yeah, I get paranoid because I have a dog and that, that hair flies Yo, anywhere. I wash my hairs like three or four times when I cook. Especially your hands, your hands, not your, your hairs. Yeah, my hair. Mm -hmm. uh, my hands, especially because, especially when I wear, um, nails i try to wear gloves and stuff like that always cleaning under my nails because i don't play that but you know when you my house is clean but when you um cooking you're touching different knives because you, you opening cabinets everything open the fridge i have to wash my hands because you open i don't the like mayo. i don't like seeing people cooking with, 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 with rings yeah that is filthy mm -hmm. Pablo. Because the motherfuckers got them black things under the nails, them oil stains from the... Let's not even talk, because we've eaten so much fast food that yeah, I Yeah, but fast food, fast food is a different game. It's a ball game. I mean, That's we, why I don't even eat that. 
value playing with your life when we fast food. Yeah, we but when are. it's people that you know, that 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 right there, like, come on, you. Mm, mm, mm. But didn't you? Didn't you used to go to somebody's house that used to make pumpkin pies or yeah, well, pecan pies and it fell on the floor and I man cha cha no hablemos de eso mejor dejemos. Nah, I used to work. That's when yeah. I used to work in home health aid and it was a really bad situation. It was a sad situation because man, I loved the boy. Rest in peace. He was bed bound and stuff, but he used to poop on himself, so we used to have to clean him. I used to use gloves, but uh, I'm so grateful for his mom because she providing me gloves all the time so i would have to flip him over instead of her and i'm grateful that i would have to hold him she would do the dirty work right she would have to clean him and stuff she had nails she would clean him with his poop poop all over her nails i swear to god i swear to god under her nails no gloves so i would never eat in her house and i can't i can't say i can't say nothing because i'm not a mother but i know that I don't care if I'm a mother or not. If I have to get my hands dirty for anybody, I'm going to do it, right? As long as there's no blood or, or contaminated disease, I'm going to do it for anybody because I've been there. I've done home health aid. But if you have the gloves available, at least help yourself too. You're helping everybody in the environment, not only you, your child, yourself. And when from, it comes to feces, yeah. you can't. You can't. I mean, we've we've done all that. We've yeah, been in I've the dental that. field. We've been, you know, home Blood health Blood splatter. Yeah. I've been in the dental field, the, the, the dental office the he was a twin and um i used to volunteer i used to volunteer in vim um and um they have this program here where vim is all for medicaid is you know you don't no, got if you don't have insurance or okay yeah if you don't have no type of insurance mm -hmm. and you live in like low income low poverty they service you for free so we used to volunteer there for years mm -hmm. um if we so, had all these people coming in, you know, a lot of people with broken tooth, with a lot of abscess. If you don't know what extractions, a, uh, uh, abscesses, um, you know, an infection, you got pus and all this stuff in your teeth. So, you know, we're dealing with that. If I have the ability to wear gloves, I'm going to wear the gloves. I'm protecting myself and you and everybody else. That you comes have to, work. you have to. So the doctor, so it was me and the doctor in the back and we were going to, I was cleaning the, the, the tools, putting them in the machine or whatever. You know, you got to clean them. And bag them and then put them in the machine or whatever. The machine goes to a certain temperature and it kills bacteria. He's like, you know, I should be doing this with gloves right now because everything had blood. He's like, you know, but back in my days, we didn't have no gloves. You know, he came from the 70s, 60s, whatever. They didn't have gloves. So it when they were matter. doing suction, but that's what I'm saying. My man, wear gloves. We're not we're not in the 60s, 70s, 80s. That was allowed back then. Now protect yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't understand how mad I get when I go to Ross. And I don't tell these people anything because I need to stop being everybody's mother and telling them what to do because I don't like to be told what to do either. I hate when these people come and clean in my job and they don't wear gloves. And I'm, I be like thinking to myself, coño, pero pónganse guantes, señores. Don't be cleaning the bathroom and picking the toilet, trash. Up. Toilet. You know what I'm saying? You know how much you can... I, man, man, protect yourself. Listen. If you have a family, listen, I worked in hotels too. I cleaned ass. I cleaned fucking toilets. My co-worker, my listen, co-workers never wore gloves either. Picking uh, pubic hair on the floor. And that's fine. If you want to do that, but don't invite me to your crib. Don't invite me to anything. Don't try to hold my hand. Don't try to invite mm -hmm. me to, i rather walk. I, I don't, uh, you know, hoy en dia, you can't trust nobody. You yep, can't. You can't. I'm telling you right now, you can't, you can't, you can't. I, I had a friend. Oh, man. Let's not even go there. But what I'm saying is, you know, you got to be careful. Like, you got to be careful everywhere. Like, that's why I don't share drinks with anybody. If you come to my house, if I happen to invite you, if I happen to invite you to my house by the grace of God, um, you have your own hookah set up. You have your own uh, hose. You have your own thing. I don't use the same hookah that I have for me for everybody else. I just don't do that. Um, I like to protect myself and everybody else. And that's just me point blank period. This is why I don't like smoking hookah outside. Mm -hmm. This is why I don't like uh, smoking hookah outside. I've done it before. Uh, but like, you know, cleaning a hookah machine, it, it takes a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? If you're sharing it with other people and multiple people are sharing it, you know, it's a lot of spit contamination. This is why I've only done hookah outside 
two or three times and that's it i don't ever want to do that again just because I, I don't trust it you know what i'm saying and you really can't trust anything anywhere you go and stuff like that but yeah you guys so enough rambling um we hope you guys enjoyed this video we were just trying to catch up with you guys because we haven't done a video in a minute yeah we haven't done a video in a minute no reason we just been chilling and stuff like that um yeah we're gonna go going because there's a lot of people on the road especially supermarkets thank god we don't have to go are we gonna go to the supermarket i want to get beer and oh yeah so we're gonna stop at the supermarket but the one that we go to it shouldn't be that bad so i just gotta go get some beer and some soda because i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say we're not gonna have a soda tomorrow that's not happening um but we hope you guys enjoy mm. your thanksgiving and you guys have you know somewhere to go and enjoy with your family and your loved ones and be careful if you guys are gonna go shopping for black friday you know try to stay safe if somebody gives you attitude don't fight for over you know a doll that's you know gonna be sold out or whatever life is short guys we hope that you know you guys are safe and be careful because man it's just craziness out here yeah um with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye guys